our life now is controlled by microelectronics. You probably are wearing a watch or a digital camera, or, or you might have a cellular phone on your belt or in your purse. All of these devices use electronic chips. This is one such chip where we've removed the cover, and if you were to look inside, you'd see a little piece of silicon, which is a material that's derived from glass, on which metal leads have been evaporated that do all the magic of microelectronics that makes our lives so wonderful these days, or at least technology is so wonderful these days. We've actually sprinkled a few of the nanowires, of the glass nanowires that we're pulling in that flame above there, on top of it. Can't see them yet. I have to zoom in on the microscope. So just to give you an idea, the, the width of that little chip is about a millimeter, which is, you know, one twentieth of an inch. It's, you know, pinhead, roughly. Now you can start to see some nanowires. There's one that goes there from the left to the right. We're going to zoom in, and in fact, I have to go to another type of microscope because optics is not good enough to resolve it. I have to go to an electron microscope in order to see that nanowire. And you can see something interesting right away, namely that the electronic lead, this is the wire, one of the wires on the chip that transports current or electric signal from one point to another. Notice it's bubbly and uneven on that scale. Electric current doesn't mind these bumps. Light is very fussy. Something has to be extremely smooth in order for light not to scatter uh, off. So let's zoom in to see actually how thick that nanowire is. Here it is. It's actually 300 nanometer, not 20 nanometer, but this was 300 nanometer thick. So it's a lot smaller than current uh, microelectronics. On the right, a picture of a nanowire, actually a nanowire tied in a knot, which would be a nano knot, I guess, on top of a human hair. That's what a, one of your hairs look like if you look at it really close up. 